Spectrum in-home Wi-Fi is the best way to make the most of your Spectrum Internet, so it's important to make sure everything is set up properly. Here are a few steps you can take to maximize your Wi-Fi experience. The first step to maximizing your in-home Wi-Fi experience is to identify the best location for your Wi-Fi equipment. Your Wi-Fi equipment will consist of two boxes, a modem and Wi-Fi router, or a single box where the modem and Wi-Fi router are built into the same piece of hardware. The best placement for the equipment is in a central, open location. You should also consider whether you're planning to connect a high bandwidth device, like a smart TV, or gaming system directly to your router. Keep in mind, certain locations in your home may actually block your Wi-Fi signal. Avoid placing it in an attic, basement, closet or cabinet, or any place the signal may be obstructed. Wi-Fi signal strength deteriorates over distance and as it passes through the construction materials of your home. Walls, metal and water can degrade the signal the most. Avoid placing your Wi-Fi equipment on the floor and keep the equipment away from windows which may interfere with the signal. You'll also want to position the equipment away from other devices that emit signals, such as baby monitors, microwaves, and wireless headsets. If you have purchased your own modem and or Wi-Fi router, you should consider how long you've had the equipment. Older modems and Wi-Fi routers may no longer support your full speeds and may not be compatible with all devices. Consider upgrading. The equipment Spectrum provides is tested to ensure it can support your internet speeds. We encourage you to use the equipment that Spectrum provides since we can service it as well as replace it as needed. When you connect to your network using Wi-Fi, the connection speed depends on the age of your device, its operating system, model, and more. A laptop or smartphone may never be able to achieve full speed no matter how strong the signal. In fact, you may see different devices achieve different speeds when tested. Wi-Fi is made to handle multiple devices. However, if one of your devices is downloading a large file or gaming, for example, the bandwidth available to your other devices will be impacted. Speeds will vary because the devices you have on your network are all sharing your connection. Other factors may also affect your home's Wi-Fi. For instance, homes that have many close neighbors, such as apartments or townhomes, each with their own Wi-Fi network, may experience some Wi-Fi interference. The longer the list of available networks close to you, the more likely it is that your Wi-Fi could be impacted. To improve this scenario, if your devices are currently using 2.4 GHz from your router, you can try moving them to 5 GHz. Spectrum's current Wi-Fi routers broadcast on both 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz. 5 GHz is usually the best option, as it provides the fastest speed. However, 2.4 GHz is recommended for areas of your home if you experience slow speeds due to poor signal. If you're still having issues, your equipment may need to be rebooted. By turning it off and then back on again. You can also try power cycling your Wi-Fi equipment. To do this, unplug the power cords from the back of the modem and from the router. If you have a single box, you'll only have one piece of equipment to unplug. Wait 30 seconds and reconnect the modem power cord. You'll know the modem has reconnected when its connection lights are steady and no longer blinking. This will take about two minutes. Now you can reconnect the power to the router. Wait another two minutes for the router to connect, then try surfing a few web pages to make sure you're connected to the internet. After performing any of the recommended steps, you can run a speed test at spectrum.net slash speedtest to confirm you're getting the best speed available. To learn how to perform a speed test, watch our Test Your Internet and Wi-Fi Speeds support video. And finally, remember to always protect your Wi-Fi network by keeping your network name and Wi-Fi password private. Only give these out to users you know and trust. For other helpful support videos, visit spectrum.net slash videos.